Ho, ho, ho! I'm Noelle Christina. Welcome to our Christmas yoga challenge. On the ninth day of Christmas, our main special pose that is always a surprise is crow pose. So get your things together and meet me at your mat. Ready? Let's start our flow today sitting with our legs together and bring it super close to your chest. We are going to start easier here. So hug your legs opposite elbows if you can and rest your forehead on your knees. Bring your feet together, toes touching. Relax your shoulders down and just be here for a little bit. Let your breath flow naturally. Scan your body from your head to your toes. Notice the part of your body that is tight or need extra love today. And now think, before we move, just think of cat and cow spine. We are going to do a variation sitting exactly as we are. So inhale, look forward, bring your chest towards your leg, shoulders away from your ears. We are going to consider this position as a cow spine. Exhale, round your back, forehead to knee, look into your belly button, round as much as you can. This will be cat spine. Inhale, cow spine. Try as much as you can to move less of your whole body and more of your spine. Exhale, round to cat spine. Inhale, cow spine. Exhale, cat spine. Inhale, cow spine. Exhale, cat spine. Inhale, cow spine. Exhale, cat spine. One last time. Inhale, cow spine. Exhale, cat spine. Hold the cat spine. Perfect. Bring your hands behind your legs. If you can, hold opposite elbow. Keep your chest super close to your thighs. And let's start waking up our core. Walk on the, on the top of your toes. Take one leg all high up. Flex the foot and bring it back down. Now take the left leg up, flex the foot, and bring it down. On the tip toes, bring the right leg up, flex, and bring it back down. Left leg high. Find a alignment between your heels and your knees. Left leg down. And come right leg up, flex the right foot foot. Always keep your chest forward and bring right leg back down. Left leg up and bring it down. Bring the heels back to the floor. Rest your forehead to your knee. Inhale and exhale. Inhale, come up. Keep hugging your legs towards your chest. Bring right leg up and then bring left leg up in both, both, both pose. Flex your foot. Stay here for a little bit. Great. Bring it down. Rest forehead to knee. We're just waking up our core for our main pose today. Let's do one more time. Come up chest towards your, your leg, come on the tip toes 
and try if you can bring both leg up together chest always forward perfect bring it back down now let's make our way to our backs let's start here hugging your legs towards your chest shoulders away from your ears rock from side to side let's do a quick twist so drop your legs to the right side and look over your left try your best to keep your left shoulder to the floor inhale back to center exhale drop your legs to the left right arm extended right shoulder towards the floor and then come back Hug your knees towards your chest again. And let's make a variation of the crow pose on our back. So bring, keep your legs towards your chest, bring your arms up. So imagine that you're holding the sky. So the top of your hand will be parallel to you and your palms will be flat up to the sky shoulders away from your ears and just hold here your arms super engaged and strong so now move your arms up like you're moving the sky and bring your shoulders down move up and down up and down it's not a movement that happens within your elbow of or your wrist is a movement that helps move that happens more within your scapula bring it down and up down and up one more time down hold it down release your neck it's really normal that we hold tension in the cervical here and just drop your arms to the floor palms facing forward because this can be super super strong and our hands can get tired easily so rock your legs from side to side keeping your whole spine on the floor <clears throat> let's wake up our core a little more so now bring your arms above your head you can keep it straight or you can <clears throat> bring it like a little pillow behind your head whatever it feels more comfortable for you. So, <clears throat> legs towards your chest still, bring your legs towards the right, like you're gonna do a twist, but you need to find that sweet spot where your core is gonna be super engaged. You're not even super close to the floor and not with your legs in the center. And then come back to center. Bring your legs now to the left, the same thing. Find that sweet spot where you're gonna have to engage your core a lot. Back to center, inhale, exhale, legs towards the right. Inhale, center, exhale, legs towards the left. Inhale, center, legs towards the right. One last time and hold. Hold the pose, not the breath, neither tension in the body. Inhale, center. Last time to the left. Inhale, center. Hug the legs towards the chest again. Let your tailbones get longer, shoulders away from the ears. And let it go of the hands. Again, hands, arms straight up to the sky. Hands wide open and hold here your arms are gonna keep you're gonna keep this way now we're gonna bring some motion to our legs we're you're gonna try to bring your knees towards your triceps or your elbow so inhale move your knees towards your tricep and back down Move your knees towards your tricep and come back. Inhale, move and back. Inhale, move and back. 
Last one, let's try to hold. Inhale, move. You don't have to touch. Bring as much as you can. Soften your head. Now pick it up the head off the floor. Hold here. This is a variation of crow pose on the floor. Exhale, head down. Straight your arms above your head. Straight your legs. Morning stretch. Oof. That can be a lot, right? Okay. I think we can do that one more time because this is all warm-ups to wake up the muscle, to wake up the body, so we can do the full crow pose. All right, set up your arms up straight, hands hold in the sky, bring the legs towards your chest, and then bring your knees towards your elbow or tricep and hold here. Lift your head, hold. Try to keep your feet together, toes touching, belly in, breathe, exhale, hug your knees towards your chest. Okay, let's roll. If you have a yoga block, bring it with you or any kind of pillow that you can use to give you more security and the feeling of safety during crow pose. Okay, before we do the whole crow pose, we are gonna do the baby crow pose, all right? I'm gonna give you a couple options. You can bring the block or the pillow you have on your feet, resting your toes. And for the baby crow pose, you bring your forearm to the floor close to you. Okay, now your toes are on the floor. Just lift the knee and bring the knee back. Inhale, lift the knee and bring the knee back. Lift the knee and bring it back. One more time, lift the knee and bring it back. Rest in child's pose here. Extend your arms. Rest your forehead. Breathe. Forearms back to the floor. Move the blocks or the pillow away from you, find Malasana first, and then bring forearms to the floor. You're gonna bring your knee on the highest of your tricep, okay? You can also rest your forehead on the floor here, or you can take the forehead out, keep it like one finger away from the floor. Foot high up, ballerina feet, and come back in Malasana. Woo! That's the baby crow. Let's do it again. From Malasana, bring forearms to the floor, knees high up on your tricep. You can rest your forehead on the floor or not. Bring foot up, ballerina feet, and rest. Okay, let's rest in child's pose. Extend your arms, forehead to the floor. Breathe in and out. And remember to always keep practicing. If this was your first time doing the baby crow pose, it's totally normal that we think that it's weird, we don't feel comfortable, but remember, as much as you practice, that's how you're gonna master. We are building strength. We are building flexibility. All right, now let's go to our full crow. I personally like to start crow pose in Malasana. 
So bring your foot to the floor, knees to the side, elbows on the inside of your knee, hands in prayer. So here you use your elbows to bring your legs away from you. A couple tips before we do crow pose. You can have a block, so you can sit in malasana to build the strength within your core and spine and legs. And you can have another block in front of you so you can rest your forehead and help, that helps you with the balance, all right? Let's start with a block there so you can see. Bring your hands flat on the floor. Let's start first lifting our seat and come back to, to the floor. Lift up the seat and come back to the floor. The reason why we're doing this, lifting the seat and bringing it back down, it's because sometimes we are afraid of bringing our butt higher than our head. So this help to teach us, to teach our butt, <laughs> that there's no need to be afraid. All right, keep hands flat on the floor. Come up with your butt, come high on your tiptoes. You can rest your forehead on the block. Stay here first. Try to come on the tip toe, the tip of your big toe. If you're confident here, pick it up the right leg. Bring it to the floor. Pick it up the left. Bring it to the floor. Again, pick it up the right. Bring it to the floor, pick it up the left, bring it to the floor, and come all the way in Malasana. Let's rest before we go it again. So we can rest in child's pose. Extend your arms, rest your forehead. Breathe. All right, come back to Malasana. So you can do with the block on your forehead, any position on the first, the second, or the third, or you can do without, okay? The block is to help you with the balance. The same idea that we just did. For the full crow, again, I like to come from Malasana, shoulders, away from the ears, elbow moving the knees, bring hands forward flat on the floor, come high on your tiptoes, move forward. Let's just rock forward now with your butt up. Rock forward and backwards. Okay, next time you come forward, pick it up the right leg, pick it up the left, and stay, come back in Malasana. It's really tricky to do this while I talk. So let's create the crow pose again. You already know how to build. You can always stay in the baby crow or in the supported crow with your back on the floor or just picking up one foot at a time. Whenever you're ready, create and build your own Perfect crow pose. And come back to Malasa. Awesome. Bring hands back. Sit on your cushion. Straight your legs and make your way to Shavasana. Open your legs wide, arms by your side. Take a long deep breath in, side out. <sighs> Again, inhale, exhale. <sighs> Last time, inhale, exhale. <sighs> Let your breath happen naturally. Let your breath regulate your body. Feel how your rest, your hands, your arms got stronger 
as well as your abdomen. And then notice how was within your mind body to practice this flow. Was it hard? Were you confident? You wanted to give up? What happened? Try to understand what those things that happened through your mind came to teach you. And then also notice how was within your physical body to practice this flow today? What was easy? What was hard? Parts of your body that maybe you need to release or stretch more or get more stronger. And then whatever of those were, just let it go. No attachment to anything. No attachment to the things we couldn't do, you couldn't do. No attachment to the things we did. Just be here and now. No judgment. Roll over your right side on the fit of position. Rest here for a couple more breaths. Bring your left hand to the floor. Use the strength of your left arm to come up and find an easy sit position. Let your arms rest. Let your shoulder rest, let your neck rest, bend your head a little bit towards your chest. Bring your hands to prayer, bow down to your heart in gratitude. Be free, be true, be real, be you. Namaste. Thank you so much for practicing this super strong flow with me. I hope you feel that within you and I see you on our next Bye-bye.